I've seen Diamas do that. That's why he's leading off. We've seen Cam do that. And you've seen some of the older guys have that sort of production. Uh, it wasn't throughout the lineup today, but there were some, there were, I was pleased with the at-bats. There were moments in this game where we struck out more than we should. And I told the guys, as you increase the number of at-bats in a game, the mathematical odds of striking out obviously go up the more times you go up there. But there were some early moments in the game where I thought we could have had a little more control of what we were doing with the at-bats. But all in all, like you would take that every day of the week. I thought they ran a nice variety of arms out there. Uh, and that's a solid team. Like to come on the road for the first time as a team and play that way is not easy. You hope that you can come in here and play well and extend and win, but it's not easy to come in here and win. I, you could probably look at a lot of games that haven't gone that way, including when I came over here as a player and played. And that was a big point of emphasis for me today was to get out of that stadium and get somewhere you're not familiar with and figure out how to be organized in there, do your pregame stuff, turn around, take infield, outfield, and figure out a way to win in a place that's not where you're accustomed to. And some of the older guys have been here, but some of the new guys have never seen the place ever. And you have to be able to do that to be the team we want to be. Uh, two home runs, you hit the gaps a lot, but you also got three bunch down. So did you, did you like the variety as far as? Yeah, we work on that stuff every day. And if we feel like there's an avenue to execute some of the bunning game stuff, we need to do it. It's, it's hard to score like that. And you're going to run into situations where you're scratching and clawing to create a base runner or to score a run. It's a big ballpark too. Yeah. It is. And it didn't play big. You know, the, the wind was pushing a little bit more than it probably normally does here. But the short game is important. And today was the first day it was a weapon. There are days that we have showed it and used it, but I thought today the quality of the bunt made them weapons, and that just opens up the rest of the offense when you can steal some base runners via the short game. Not any easier going, going to Fort Worth. No, this is tough. That's a super regional. This is, you're going into a super regional, and you just have to figure it out. And I was, I was pleased with our bullpen and those guys and others are going to have to be very involved in what's going on. Uh, we juggled the rotation a little bit, but those guys are going to have to extend and go toe-to-toe -to -toe TCU's an extremely talented team. And so are we. Now, this is going to be a dogfight, and with the newness of the team, this is clearly something some of these guys have never been through, a series like that on the road um, with that type of club staring at you. So it's going to be exciting. It's a neat place. And they're a very, very good, talented team. Just how good was it to see Ox out there? That was really his first extended outing this season, just to see what he did. I thought all of the pitching did a very nice job. Ox and Armstrong were outstanding. Um, Ox is good. Like, we're going to need it. And that's what we had seen. Now, I think his first outing, we just, he got the face one hitter, and it was weird. Like, he threw some good pitches that weren't called. and. That was his outing was just one. We were in a little bit of a dog fight and we tried to, I think went to a righty to, to evade whatever was coming after the lefty he faced. But he was good tonight. The fastball's got some life. It's a good slider. The sloppiness of how he entered the game. Like the guy fields his position well, but he didn't throw that ball properly to first base. And you hate to see that as the way it starts. But then I think he struck out the next four guys. So it blended in rather well. I was over here in the corner for a while and we were all upset with the guy but he got out of it and he threw well and we needed him to extend and um Frisco sinking. yeah yeah um and I thought David Barrett's going to keep getting better like we're going to have to keep giving him the experience he needs and he's going to learn from it and we show him the video and talk about it and he's got to just develop the feel from going from that slider to his fastball where he's got a little more command of whichever one was not the last pitch and we'll get we'll get him there Armstrong's really good it looked Velocity-wise, I, I don't know, but it looked whippy and lively and had some action to it. And obviously the good pickoff move, the good slider. And Dennison, like somebody's going to – we weren't pitching with Dennison. And I told him, like, sequencing pitches and being in control of what you're doing, allowing the game to be called. We're not hunting strikes, but you're hunting really tough pitch sequences. He'll get there. Um, I thought the last guy he faced was the best sequence that he had, maybe the only one of the night, but it was good. 
you expect to go with the same three guys next weekend starting or shuffle a little bit? Same three guys, but we're shuffling it because Monty like tweaked his leg or something stretching out like to warm up. So we want to just give him a little more time. And it doesn't, it, you know, the order of it right now isn't a huge deal. Now, once those pitch counts continue to build, then moving guys around is not as simple as it is right now. But, you know, same three. And then you have your bullpen stocked and you have – you know, obviously Wyatt and Whitaker and the guys you saw today. So you know, it gives you a variety and a chance. To be able to respond after they put up a two spot in the bottom of the second, like the first time all year that you guys kind of got behind five spot in the top of the third, probably pleases you as a coach to see them do that. Yeah, the at-bats and the extra base hit capability. We talk about if a third of your hits are extra base hits, you have a chance to blow up some innings and games. And we have done a good job of that. But you have to have guys that are capable of getting pitches that allow them to drive the ball like we did in some cases today and take some pitches that don't. Um, and then the physicality and the swing and the presence and the, just the raw ability also adds to you know, the discipline and the approach. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate you, yep. man. Appreciate you.